Hey everybody, Sergeant Pope here, yet again, with, uh, actually a different video. This is, um, see that motherboard in there? And actually, uh, if I, yeah, the unboxing video for that motherboard is uploading right now, so that's kind of nifty, nifty gifties. So, yeah, this is like a, kind of a series that I'm doing. It's going to be kind of a short-lived series because once I finish building my PC, it's pretty much going to be over. Um... But it's how to install components of PCs and everything. This first one will be the motherboard. Um, and I'm also going to do the PSU, even though I already installed it. And I already have the motherboard installed, but I'll just take that out and uh, uh, put it back together. Because, I mean, I have to know how to do it before I can make an unbox video. Or, not an unbox video, a tutorial on how to install the motherboard. So, yeah, this will just be the motherboard uh, installing, like, the screws and everything. And, uh getting in there so it's not like an electric shock uh, the computer or anything because you have to do it a special way um uh no, nothing to do with ram i'll probably do another video for that cpu definitely none of that graphics card none of that so just some motherboard this video so let me go ahead and take off the motherboard and get it ready to put it back on <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this, by the way. Uh, the motherboard I'm using, for just to demonstrate, uh, I mean, installation will be a little bit different for different motherboards, but at least for, like, screwing it in and everything, it's pretty much the same. Uh, so, yeah, I'm using the Gigabyte uh, 990... <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. The FXA UD5. So, uh, yeah, that's the motherboard I'll be using. Uh, well, you know, I am using. And then the case is a Coolmaster, uh, it's, wait, it's a HAF, um, something, something, something. Yeah, so that's, that's what I'm doing. I totally forgot to tell you guys about that. But let's go ahead and finish taking off this motherboard. <laughs> okay, let's get that off of there. And let's get this last one. Okay, let's be gentle so I don't break this really expensive motherboard. And then it just kind of pulls right off. Although you guys don't really need to worry about that too much because, you know, you'll just put it, be putting the motherboard on. As you can see, there's, uh, let's see, my PC came with, uh, it only had, like, this one in place and, like, that one in place. Uh, but y you gotta figure out because there's some extra holes, like, like these are some extra ones for different kind of motherboards. You need to like first lay out the motherboard and find all the screw holes and then uh, get these things. Yeah. Most likely, if you guys bought like a custom PC case or something, it came with these things. It, it's just, uh, I got that one wasn't screwed in very well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it just kind of like makes sure that the motherboard doesn't touch against this, touch against this metal. Uh, cause, you know, there's electricity going through there and shit, and, uh, don't wanna fuck that shit up. <laughs> so yeah, it just kinda keeps it off the wall, and, uh, but it still lets you screw in, cause you can see all the threads in there. Although, you know, my camera doesn't really focus while zoomed in. So, uh, yeah, you just, uh, figure out all those, put those spacers in, and then, uh, yeah, you just, yeah. I'll, I, I guess I'll go ahead and put the motherboard back on there and screw it back in. Woo! So, yeah, you just put the motherboard back on there. You just kind of be gentle with it because you've got to line up those holes nicely. I kind of use this top one for reference right there. kind of works out nicely. And so find it. There it is. If you find it, just make you get that, make sure you get that first one on there. It'll slide back just a little bit. And then, of course, you got to raise that part up there. So that side, so that it's good throughout. Because as you can see, I mean, there's like one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, I, I believe, on this board. So there's quite a few of them, and, uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Woohoo! See, it looks like it's, uh, pretty firmly secured in there, so I'll screw it back in. And, uh, let's see, I usually start with this middle one, just because it's the middle. I always drop the fucking screw, too. So, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. And I guess it's probably not a great idea to screw in 
you know, where, where I mean, like, like if you got really fucking strong uh, hands, don't screw in too much. But definitely screw in enough where it's not going to fall out. Or it's not going to wiggle around or anything. But don't... Because <laughs> I have a feeling if you screwed in really hard, you could probably break through the motherboard. But Especially, especially if you buy a cheap one. Okay. Usually what I do is I... Uh, actually, I don't know why I did this middle one. But usually, usually I do the corners first. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Seems like you do like uh, one corner, one or yeah, you guys can't really see this at all. I guess I'll put this down here. But like start at like one corner and go to the top one and that one and that one. I don't know, but it's not really a big deal what you guys do. Just whatever you feel comfortable with. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is it work? Yeah. Now it's coming Yeah. Okay. So now we got all the screws in there. Man, a lot of fun doing that. Well, that's not too bad. It's doubly easier the second time, I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah, so now we just um I guess we just put the uh, put all the wires together. And uh, obviously, you know, peripherals, uh, uh, graphics card, you know, graphics cards right there, uh, CPU, RAM, and then I guess I could hook up the power supply, but I guess I'll, I'll probably just leave that to another, to another video, the power supply inputs and everything. This is how you install it, though. You, I mean, you guys can probably find, you know, all the inputs and everything. Obviously, usually the USBs are near the bottom, just keep that in mind. The power, um, or the, or the, well, the fans, uh, those inputs are like, you know, right there, and uh, one of them's down there, that, that red one. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is about the motherboard. There's also, uh, yeah, it goes on there, so like there isn't like a huge gap there, but I, don't know, I had a lot of trouble with it on mine. Maybe you guys will, maybe you guys won't, but uh, it just will not go on mine, so uh, I'll give it another try later, but, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching this guys. Hopefully I convinced this down so it's not a bunch of mumble jumble gumble gumbo jibba. So thanks for watching this guys. I really hope you guys found it helpful. Oh, and before don't forget to do the BIOS updates and everything. If you're if it came with a CD, then go ahead and run that. If uh but uh and also go to the website because a lot of times they have you in a newer version on their website. So be sure to do that, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching this, guys. I really appreciate it a lot. A lot! So thanks for watching this, guys, and goodbye. See ya!